Okay, we are in the Sefer Achto Vachesed daily halachas uh, from Hacham Vajja and his uh, students, his children. Uh, simple question, I'm pargola, keshera l'shamesh kesuka. Let's say a person does a pergola at the end of his house, he puts, you know, those wood beams coming out of the house. Can you use that as a suka, a pergola? Pargola, yechola l'shamesh kesuka af lechatechila. For the perfect mitzvah, Afa pishaham asher mehadakim et anisarim im masmerim. Even though the wood that comes into the bergola is done with metal nails that secure it, ha'il anisarim omdim beruach mesuya gam beli anisarim. He says because the wood doesn't move with the nails, it would be okay. Vim yesh levach avid ben nesed le nesed between the planks of wood of the pergola that come along. If there's a lot of wind. Uh, or air between them, meaning there's more air than there is uh, of the wood. Uh, more sun than shade. He says, in that case, you can put this chach on top of the pergola. Okay? If you have the planks of the pergola really close to each other, and it is more shade in there, the planks are good for the schach. He said, just when you put them on the first time, because they're going to be secured with nails, have kavana that is that is for the schach. Shulchan Aruch Taf Resh Lamed Aleph Dash Aleph. I'm not sure how does this tie in David to a uh, sukkah yeshena, because maybe the like, there the whole year. it's a whole year. So, so unless there's no defanot. Yeah, but it's mina. It's not a semina suri sort of. So how? So how? Uh, how would? What's the problem? It's not there. The structure is there the whole year. Yeah, no, the structure and the schach is there the whole year. Is it? Yeah. What do you mean? It's, it's you because no. He's he's saying not. here when there's no revach of avir benehim. Where a big one, then you're gonna. Then you, put in you don't put no schach on top. You just keep the structure in and of itself. So it's seemingly the walls have one of the walls have to be taken apart. I think. Right. So he doesn't seem they don't write that. Yet. He doesn't write that. Very complicated. So I, I would have to see it inside. So let's, we'll we'll look up that question in regards to that pergola. But that's the basics of the halacha. Um, let's take a look. Um, the next one that we have coming up for sukkah is ma hu hasedir hakidush beyom tov rishon. Shel Sukkot, what's the Kiddush? Seder HaKiddush Be'yom Tov Rishon Shel Sukkot Hu She'amol Le'Kadesh Ve'achakach HaKiddush Ye'barech Le'Shev Basuka Li'Shev Basuka Ve'yashev Ve'yivarech She'yachiyanu Be'yishiva Be'sof HaKiddush Ve'im Shachach Le'Barech She'yachiyanu Ye'achol Le'Barech Kol Shivat Ha'amim Chazon Avadiyah Amud Sadi Hei So he says here, do the Kiddush Then Li'Shev Basuka Then She'yachiyanu On the second day in Galut We do She'yachiyanu first And then we do Li'Shev Basuka um, and Hamavajah told us earlier that on the second day you should have a peri or something uh, on the table for that Sheikh Yanu. Uh, we don't always put the, the peri. Uh, it's, hard to get a new one. it's hard to get a new one, but, but we say the Sheikh Yanu anyway. One more. Ketzal Mikayim Mitzvat Achilat Kazai Pesukah. This is very important. The first night you have to eat bread in the sukkah. You have to eat a certain measure of bread. You got to eat within, uh, what's four minutes? Yeah, you said four minutes. Four minutes, right? Mitzvat ase lechol kazait pat basukah. You have to eat a kazait in the sukkah. Belada rishon shel chag asukot. Beto lachmi lechol kabetza. Yeah, we always eat kabetza. I always tell everyone kabetza just to be safe. Shishim grams, 60 grams of bread. Toch shemona dakot. He says, oh, here, eight minutes. So what, what do we say four minutes when we looked it up last time? What was four minutes? Maybe the kazai. Oh, oh, kazai. So four, minute, four minutes is for kazai. Kazai. So eight minutes is for a kabetza. kabetza. So that's what it was. We said I, I said four minutes it was kazai, then eight minutes for a kabetza, and he recommends kabetza. The first night, always oh, first night sukkot have bread. First night of pesach you're having the not bread but no pita but you have matzah. Very important. Toch shemana dakot v'chein tov shu'achal to kazai pat bli ta'arovet shel salat acher chazon v'adja kuf yudalid dash kuf. Ted Vav. So interesting when you have the bread right away, the first night. Of, so you really, the first night of Sukkot, there should be nothing on the table except for bread. I'm not even going to highlight this right here. Shemona Dakot, Kabetza, Shishim Gram. And then he also writes here, um, he writes Kazait, and Laila Rishon Sukkah. So very, very important. The first night of Sukkot, really, everyone should be there with just bread. There's bread on the table after eight minutes, ten minutes. We'll say eight minutes. Uh, everyone finishes their bread. No, then, within it. Hopefully they finish it before. Yeah, but what I mean is when you put on the table all the salads, the hummus, the salads, everything, what happens? 
people fill up their plates, they start eating. Right. But if you start the meal where everyone, guys, this is what we gotta do. We gotta eat the bread. That's what God asked us to do. We finish the bread, once that's done, then go do whatever you want. You know, that's, you know, let's get, let's knock out what we need to finish, do the mitzvah right, and then we move on. And I think that's, that's always the, the better way. No, David, what do you think? I agree. All right. I mean, with, with, with items. He said it's okay. Chama Baja said it was okay, but he mentioned it. He says, do it right. So, you know what? A lot, for many years, like we, the, the rabbis spoke about it. They told us, now we have to reinforce it. And it's nice when, when, when you hear in the shul, the Nadez Sukkot, where the rabbi mentions it three, four times to remind the people, because it's important. People forget. We're all normal. Baruch Adonai